Welcome to the wetlands of South America, an ecosystem that teems with life, from colourful birds to fearsome predators like crocodiles and caimans. Surprisingly, one large rodent thrives here without showing much fear, the capybara. In this video, we'll explore why capybaras and crocodiles can be seen so close together and discover how the capybara's special smell may be part of their survival toolkit. Capybaras, or Hydrocerus hydrocerus, are the largest rodents in the world, weighing up to 150 pounds, around 68 kilograms. They are herbivores, feeding primarily on grasses and aquatic plants. Highly sociable, they live in groups ranging from small families to large herds. They spend a lot of time in or around water, thanks to their webbed toes, high-set eyes and nostrils, and strong swimming abilities. But even more interesting is the special scent they produce, which can play a role in marking territory and possibly signalling to other animals in their environment. In many regions of South America, spanning from Panama down through Brazil, Colombia and beyond, Capybaras share rivers and marshes with crocodiles and caimans. At first glance, one might assume the capybara is easy prey for these powerful reptiles, yet wildlife footage often shows them calmly basking or feeding right beside crocodiles. One factor that might help, capybara's unique scent glands could contain pheromones or compounds that communicate important information both to fellow capybaras and potentially to predators. We'll talk more about that shortly. But first, let's look at the more familiar reasons they appear unafraid. Capybaras live in groups that can number anywhere from 10 to 30 individuals, sometimes more. In a herd, there are always multiple eyes watching for danger. If one senses a threat, it alerts the others, and the entire group can quickly flee into the water. This collective vigilance significantly reduces the chances of a successful crocodile ambush. Capybaras are incredibly agile in water. Their eyes, ears and nostrils sit high on their skulls, letting them remain mostly submerged while still seeing and breathing. If threatened, they can dive and stay underwater for up to five minutes, maneuvering quickly in murky waters. Crocodiles and caimans are also adept swimmers, but a healthy, alert capybara can often evade capture with a well-timed dive and a swift underwater escape. In many healthy ecosystems, predators such as crocodiles and caimans have access to a variety of prey, including fish, birds and smaller mammals. A well-fed crocodile might not actively hunt a large, cautious capybara when easier prey is available. So, in an environment rich with food sources, capybaras can appear more relaxed around these reptiles. Now, let's focus on an intriguing aspect. Capybaras have unique scent glands, one on their snout called the morillo and another near the anus. These glands secrete a sticky, musky substance that capybaras use to mark territory, identify members of their group, and communicate sexual status. While definitive scientific studies on capybara scent and predator deterrence are limited, some researchers theorize that their strong, musky odor could be off-putting or confusing to certain predators. Crocodiles typically hunt based on sight and motion in water, but scent can still play a role in how they identify potential prey. If the capybara's smell is unfamiliar or unappealing, it might reduce the reptile's predatory drive. Or it may simply send the message that the capybara is healthy, alert, and not the easiest target. Capybaras and crocodiles have coexisted for millennia. Over this time, capybaras developed group living for enhanced protection, powerful swimming and diving skills for quick escapes, and scent-based communication that might signal territorial claims or health. Combined, these factors help capybaras avoid or reduce predation risk, even in habitats filled with formidable reptilian predators. While they're adept at coexistence, capybaras are not invincible. Young, sick or solitary individuals can still fall prey to crocodiles, caimans or other predators like jaguars. It's a balancing act in nature, high alertness, strong group dynamics and that distinct musky odour might lower the risk, but it doesn't eliminate it entirely. In the intricate dance of South America's wetlands, capybaras and crocodiles share a habitat where each has learned to adapt to the other's presence. With strong social bonds, excellent swimming skills and a mysterious musky scent, capybaras have struck a delicate balance that allows them to lounge calmly, even near powerful predators. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the fascinating world of capybaras. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share it with fellow nature lovers. Until next time, remember that wildlife often finds incredible ways to coexist, even with the odds stacked against them.